Four Types of Car Brakes Brakes are perhaps the most important safety feature of any vehicle. Knowing the different types of brakes, both between and within vehicles, can help you feel better informed when caring for and repairing your brakes. There are two kinds of service brakes, or the brakes that stop your vehicle while driving, disc and drum brakes. Additionally, almost all vehicles come with emergency brakes and anti-lock brakes. Number 1 Disc Brakes Disc brakes consist of a brake rotor which is attached directly to the wheel. Hydraulic pressure from the master cylinder causes a caliper, which holds the brake pads just outside the rotor, to squeeze the brake pads on either side of the rotor. The friction between the pads and the rotor causes the vehicle to slow and stop. Disc brakes are generally used in passenger cars, but due to their stable performance at higher speeds and resistance to brake fade, they are gradually spreading into the commercial vehicle segment, where drum brakes were traditionally chosen for their longer service life. There is increasing demand from customers for longer service life and higher quality, and Daki Bono is committed to meeting them through further development of the disc brakes reliability. There are two types of disc brakes. The opposed piston type disc brake has pistons on both sides of the disc rotor, while the floating type disc brake has a piston on only one side. Floating caliper type disc brakes are also called sliding pin type disc brakes. How disc brakes works when the driver steps on the brake pedal, the power is amplified by the brake booster, servo system, and changed into a hydraulic pressure, oil pressure, by the master cylinder. The pressure reaches the brakes on the wheels via tubing filled with brake oil, brake fluid. The delivered pressure pushes the pistons on the brakes of the four wheels. The pistons in turn press the brake pads, which are friction material, against the brake rotors which rotate with the wheels. The pads clamp on the rotors from both sides and decelerate the wheels, thereby slowing down and stopping the vehicle. Number 2 Drum Brakes Drum brakes consist of a brake drum attached to the inside of the wheel. When the brake pedal contracts, hydraulic pressure presses two brake shoes against the brake drum. This creates friction and causes the vehicle to slow and stop. How Drum Brakes Works when the driver steps on the brake pedal, the power is amplified by the brake booster, servo system, and changed into hydraulic pressure, oil pressure, by the master cylinder. The pressure reaches the brakes on the wheels via tubing filled with brake oil, brake fluid. The delivered pressure pushes the pistons on the brakes of the four wheels. The pistons press the brake linings, which are friction materials, against the inside surfaces of the brake drums which rotate with the wheels. The linings are pressed on the rotating drums, which in turn decelerate the wheels, thereby slowing down and stopping the vehicle. Emergency Brakes Emergency brakes, also known as parking brakes, are a secondary braking system that work independent of the service brakes. While there are many different kinds of emergency brakes, a stick lever between the driver and passenger, a third pedal, a push button or handle near the steering column, etc., almost all emergency brakes powered by cables which mechanically apply pressure to the wheels. They are generally used to keep a vehicle stationary while parked, but can also be used in emergency situations if the stationary brakes fail. How Emergency Brakes Works the emergency brake bypasses your vehicle's hydraulic brake system to lock the wheels in place. This mechanical system uses cables that are attached to the emergency brake lever. When engaged on cars with drum brakes, the cables pull another lever that puts pressure on the brake shoes to hold the vehicle. Number 4 Anti-Lock Brakes Anti-Lock Braking Systems ABS, are found on most newer vehicles. If the stationary brakes are applied suddenly, abs prevent the wheels from locking up in order to keep the tires from skidding. This feature is especially useful when driving on wet and slippery roads. Working of Anti-Lock Braking System ABS. As the ECU reads the signal which indicates the rapid decrease in the speed of the wheel, it sends signal to the valve which makes the valve close and the pressure to the brake pad reduces and prevents the wheel from locking.